Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Crate, and we're working on page four and five. I'm going to work these in tandem. They're going to be mirror images of each other. And what I've decided to do is something different. I don't, I don't do this uh, very often, but I'm just going to make these uh, scrapbook layout pages. So there's not going to be any interactive elements on this. I'm going to color block these patterns, and then I'm going to uh, place some photo mats. Um, on the on the uh, center layout so I just um, yeah I felt like doing something different now the photo mats there is a chance I might make those cards but I'm not sure um, so let's go ahead and get started so this is from the 12 by 12 and this is six inches uh, wide <clears throat> I need to ink it <clears throat> and these will be both toward the spine and if you look at the image in its entirety, it's just the 12 inch uh, cut in half. Okay. Again, we're on page four and five. Warm wishes, graphic 45. Okay, so we should have four inches remaining. So I think what I want to do is make it largely this pattern with just a small break with the green. So I think I'm going to make the green, um, I'm going to look at one inch. So that would be one inch. Yeah. So I think I'm going to make the green one inch wide. You'll need one for each side. There we go. I was at a retreat not too long ago, and um, I was helping somebody with the layout, and I forgot I enjoy doing 12 by 12 layouts. I just hadn't done one in so long. I don't have time to do that. It's all mini albums. Okay, and then we're going to trim this to fit. It's better this way, okay? Okay, now we're going to repeat this process on page five. We start with the largest piece. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> now this is going to go toward the spine. So when you set the two pages in the book side by side, it'll be one continuous image. Okay, and here's my one inch strip already trimmed out. There we go. Then we will trim this last piece to fit. Here's my pencil. Of course, not enough too much. That's just the way it goes. Okay, so there's page five, four and five. So it makes a nice two page layout. So the next thing I wanna do is I've, I've pre-cut uh, several mats. Um, and what I'm thinking is I'm going to use black as the mat and then um, gold as uh, the secondary mat but I also have green so we can do both we can do a little bit of both um, yeah so I definitely want to do something over here so I've got some gold so I'm going to start cutting through that right now and you guys are just going to kind of come along for the ride let's see what size this is let's make this four by four by four. Okay, so that's four and four and one eighth by four and one eighth with a four by four color mat. I like the larger one over here. It's really interesting because I tried doing this and I was like, wow, that's too, too white. So we're going to have to leave part of this poinsettia revealed. Otherwise, it looks out of balance. Um, so let's put this here for, let's put this here for now. And then let's see, this is a four by four. Slightly smaller. Four. So here's a four by five, which I like for right here. Okay. 
And of course we can put a little small one here. Or the other thing you can do is put a little journal card there. I can't remember, this is three and a half by three and a half. <clears throat> Oops, I did it the wrong way. <laughs> I overturned it. Let's see, what else do I have? What did I say? Three and a half, so three and five eighths is what I need. I'm still a little, I got burnout from last night. It was a long night of crafting. Okay, yes. Maybe I'll do a circle. What do you guys think? So maybe four and five eighths. I like that. I think I need a circle here. What do you guys think? I think so. So let's get rid of this green. It's kind of mucking up my colored palette. So I'm liking this so far, but I do feel like it needs something else. So I think I'm going to try to do um, a couple of circles in two different sizes, something for over here <clears throat> and something for these two spots. <clears throat> the other thing I could do is is leverage that frame and do a frame in a frame. Bring this down. And that gives me, gives me these juxtaposed um, poinsettias, which I think I like better. Yeah. Okay. So I think what I want to do, since these both are squares, or, or if they're not, they're close to it, I think I want to put a rectangle here leave this open, leave this open, and put a circle over here. So I need a minute to get my act together. Okay, everyone, this is what I decided. I cut two circles. This is, and I used this tool again. I showed it to you earlier. Um, this is the name of the tool. Um, either, either Fiskars or Martha Stewart makes a similar tool, but um, I find this to be a superior tool. I've tried both. And it comes with this uh, guide so that you can, you know, determine what size um, you want to make your circle. Um, and then um, you can adjust it accordingly. So anyways, I, I'm real happy with this tool. Uh, I think it makes nice circles and it cuts very easily and it doesn't slip while you're trying to set it. So let's go ahead and start inking these and setting them on their photo mats and then We'll adjust them one last time before we make a final decision on where to put them. And this is, I think I told you, this is a nine centimeter <clears throat> and an eight centimeter circle. If you want that in inches, three inch circle, three and a half inch circle. <clears throat> I had the feeling I forgot to hit play. It's done. Okay. Let's start with the circles.
The other reason I like this better than a punch is I can adjust um, my mat size. With the punches, it's it's everything is a quarter inch, and that's too big. Um, it looks good in cards, but it's too much black uh, in an album. I think if you're if you're using a white background, it works. Black background does not work. It's too bold. The contrast is too bold. <clears throat> I think I need to trim this down just a smidge. On one side. <clears throat> yeah, one of the uh, borders looked a little too big. Same thing on this one. Just, move away. Just off a little tiny bit. That's too much. Yeah, that's, that's pretty tight, but I like it. Okay. <clears throat> hmm. All of them are off a little bit. I must not be seeing straight. <clears throat> solve it. So we're going to fuss around with these until we get them where we want them. <clears throat> I don't like this um, horizontal because the whole page is horizontal and I think making it vertical breaks it up nicely. So I like this. I'm not sure about that. And let's fuss around with this a little bit. One of the things you can do with these two is add a string and a bow to make it look like an ornament, which I am not going to do, but would definitely work. I'm going to try a small rectangle here. That's three and a half by five. Okay, this is three and a quarter by four and a half. That's too, too tall. <clears throat> Okay, this is three by four, and that's a better size. And I like this better. Let me get some gold paper on that. What did I say it was? It is three by four.
Okay, I think I like where most of these are landing. It's hard to visualize because there's no photos in the in the buckets, but I do like where the rectangles are. And what I would advise is if you're going to use your circles, which I like, I think they turned out nice, I would maybe recommend uh, not placing them until you have your photos um, so that you can do some last minute tuning. I'm going to go ahead and put mine down, but you may want to consider that. So I'm very happy with this, so I'm going to go ahead and lay this side down. This I'm still working with. <clears throat> I'm trying to decide if I want this to be a photo mat or just an accent piece at the moment. I don't want it on the bottom because this is on the bottom. I don't like it there, but it could go over here. I think it's, I'm forcing it. So I'm gonna leave it for the moment. Come back to it in a second. Okay, this side. I know where I want this piece. Okay, brief. And I like the way these two are revealed. This is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. I was just checking what do I like better. I'm just looking for kind of an even border, um, but this is really about, you know, spatial planning and what looks good, not measurements, right? I'm gonna cut this in half and see what I think. I just want a bit of it showing somewhere. I don't mind that, but I don't like it on the bottom with this. So I think I'm just going to set that aside and stop trying to make it work and then figure out what to do here. That's a little bit crooked. Oh, I should have gone up a little further. Okay, I'm going to slightly overlap it and then I'm going to find something to embellish over here. Okay. Let's put 
one, our tray, did I get that? Oh, that's fine. Tray of goodies in here. too big in my opinion kind of the same thing. I like it, but I don't want the bird. There. Like that, this needs something too much. Okay, I think that's all my goodies. So let's let's work on arranging them. I think I like this. <sighs> these two. So these I definitely like. So I'm gonna put these down. The question is, do I want the whole thing? I think I'm gonna cut the bird off on this side too. just a peek and then that makes the Mary fit better. Okay, whoops, set my ink right down on my craft mat. Now if I wasn't pressed for time and I'm so far behind schedule because of life, I would pro I would consider putting cardstock on the back of these but instead I took my ink and went very deep into the pattern to make it pop out a little bit more. Um, I'm going to do the same thing here. I would definitely put black cardstock behind this. But these little bits take a lot of time. Um, it's rewarding when you see it, but I've got to get to life's vignettes. <laughs> that's, that's my next thing. Okay, and I just think this is really pretty. It's a question of how it's going to land. I don't like that. I do like this. I'm gonna cut it where it naturally ends. Yeah. So it looks like I've already inked it. See my hands jitter on three cups of coffee, that'll do it.
No. I'm gonna go to push it in place, it floats. Okay, that's that's pretty straight, I think. All right. Let's go ahead and glue this because we know we like that. And these are just fussy cut from I think the cover. Mm. But I'm not sure. Again, I'm just I'm distressing uh, deeper than I normally go, so I don't have to frame it in black. You might want to leave your tips open so you can slide your photos under them. Depends on if you want your photos up above or below. I like the way that it sprays over, and then we have this. I'm struggling with direction, which way this goes. I think it looks better this way. I don't know if it goes that way, but I like it better. That's too much. I don't know. What do you guys think? you the reds in this collection they're so different I'm stressing because there's no photos if the photos were in you wouldn't even notice I kind of like that it makes it look a little bit more like an ornament so this it's a matter of placing this and do I do I like this? That's too much. That looks good. I'm gonna trim it down a little bit. so good. I like it. So what to do? So there's a little bit of Wink of Stella on here. Very hard for me to tell which which way is up. <clears throat> I like the love on top. And I'm doing it off center on purpose. I don't want the green to be centered over the green. If you're gonna center, it has to be precise. Um, otherwise, go off. I do like this. Let me look and see if there's some other tag I like better. I don't think so, but I want it to be small. These are too big. Hang on to that. That might look better on the other side. Mm. This is something I punched myself. I don't like it. So this is too much poinsettia and poinsettia. <clears throat> if I use that, it makes it easier to use this, I think. I think.
What do you guys think? I think I don't like it. This is that pattern that I struggled with for the whole collection. <laughs> but I do like this, so we're going to use this. <clears throat> Straighten that out. <clears throat> I think I want it high, something higher, lower, something. Maybe lower. No, I want it to overlap. Sorry. This is the um, tedious part, without a doubt. No. Let's ink it. Let's see what we think. Oh, the lid's not going to help. Oh, I forgot about this piece. It's just too much, I think. Cover so much of that photo. Where I think I like it. happy with that. I like these two. I really like the way this these overlay. And I like this, but it's just too big for for these purposes. Yeah, it's just too too much. What if I only had part of it? think that's the correct direction yeah and I think it's just too too much um, so I think I'm gonna call it quits sometimes the hardest thing about creating is knowing when to stop and I think it's time to stop um, otherwise I'm gonna ruin um, our efforts we could do with a small circle there it would have to be smaller than this. Yeah, that would look good. But let me see. I'll cut it down manually and see if I like it. It's 
takes a little effort with With the cardstock behind it. I don't like it. We're done. We're done. I'm stopping. <laughs> I think this makes for a nice photo layout. So everybody, thank you again for joining us. Um, if you could, one of the ways that you can help us that doesn't cost a thing is to like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate it. We are right around 22,000 subscribers and we'd like to get to 25,000 subscribers. Why? Because it's fun and it's exciting and it's, um, some measure of success, uh, on my side. It's hard to know how much, uh, how many people I'm reaching or how many people are affected or enjoy these videos. And that's one way I can measure it. Um, so if you have a moment, if you would like, share, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't visited our shop over at www.scrapandcreate.com, please take a moment and go over there. Um, anything you see in our projects, we sell over in our shop and we do our best to ship same day as order. So, um, and we have there's tons of people that rave about our shipping. Um, we are paper lovers just like you, so we take extra care in packaging them so they will arrive to you in pristine co condition as one would expect. So again, thanks everybody for joining me, Daphne, at Wrap and Create. We'll see you soon.